Welcome to this tutorial on how to do a bokeh effect in Corel Paint Shop Pro. The bokeh effect is a popular photography technique. It uses depth of field to produce a background filled with circular colors and lights rather than in the traditional blur effect. Although this effect can be done in camera, I'm going to show you a technique that allows you to do a bokeh style image in a photo that's already been shot normally or uses regular depth of field. First, Open PaintShop Pro into the Edit Workspace. Next, make sure you have the Layers palette open, and if not, click on the F8 key on your keyboard to bring it into view. From the Tools menu on the left side of the screen, select the Oil Brush from the Brush Library. Now the settings for this brush are very important, so check out the top of the screen here. First of all, I'm going to change the size of the brush. This size works, and that's because it's a fairly small image, and depending on the resolution or the scale of your photo, choose a size that works for you. Next, I'm going to select Trace, and what this is going to do is pick up the color from the image below it and apply it on that layer. Let me show you what I mean. If I click over this part of the picture, it's going to apply a round dot of exactly the same color as below my brush on the photo. Now I'll click over here on this shade and see it's choosing a color based on where I'm clicking. I'll cover most of the background of the image in these blotches. Now go to Adjust, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. So it's important to note here as well that you're probably going to be prompted at this point to convert this art media layer that PaintShop Pro created into a raster layer. And this is because when you're working with any of the art media tools, including the oil brush, a special layer is created just for those tools. And if you want to do something else, it has to be converted to a raster layer first. So just click OK to this message and PaintShop Pro will do that for you. And now it's going to pop up the Gaussian Blur settings that we selected earlier. And again, these settings will depend on the size and the resolution of the image. So I'm just going to drag the slider over until it looks right. Not too much blur, but just enough that it's nice and smooth. OK, that's perfect. And so I'll just click OK now, and I'll have this nice bokeh style look on this new raster layer. And if you want to get really artistic here, or add a few crisp circles of color on top, some images have these. You'll usually see them appear where there's large sources of light or lamp light for holiday lights. Well, to do this, I'll just click on the regular paintbrush tool, select a color from the mixer, or I can use the color picker tool on the image too. Put a few dabs. I'll just go here and here, and a few more just around where the lights are. And you can change the color as well. It's really a matter of what looks best to you on the particular image that you're using. And remember, most of these are really guidelines more than rules. Now all we need to do is bring the subject into focus. And to do that, I'll simply take the eraser tool, once again adjust the size so that it works, and I'll erase the subject out of the image. And if you're having trouble seeing where the edge of your subject is, you can reduce the opacity of this top layer while you're erasing from it. And I'll just go around the edge like so. And now that I've completed it, I can go back over here and set the opacity back to 100% and we're good to go. So since this looks perfect, I'm just going to right click on this layer and I'm going to tell it to merge all of the layers. And there you have it, the bokeh effect is complete. So if you have any photos already saved and you wish to try this technique and you didn't get to do it in your camera, well, it's never too late with PaintShop Pro. Thank you for watching and as always, visit learn.coral.com for tons of video and written tutorials, contests, tips, ebooks, and more.